welcome to the second part of corona discussion so we are we were discussing the corona in power transmission line now we will discuss what is the power loss due to corona so formation of corona is always accompanied by the energy loss which is dissipated in the form of light heat sound and chemical action so whenever there is a corona there will be a energy loss this energy loss will be in the form of a light in the form of a heat in the form of a sound and in the form of a chemical action when disruptive voltage is exceeded the power loss due to the corona is given by peak's empirical formula in the fair weather condition so peak was a scientist who has given this empirical formula of power loss which is given by 242.2 frequency plus 25 divided by delta under root r by d v minus vc whole square into 10 to the power minus 5 unit is kilowatt per kilometer per phase so this is the equation or the empirical formula of the power loss due to corona for per phase per kilometer and the unit is in kilowatt here f is the supply frequency in hertz v that is the voltage is basically the phase to neutral voltage and we are taking here the rms1 and vc is the disruptive voltage that is the rms per phase so this formula is the empirical formula which we can use to calculate the power loss due to corona and during the foul weather condition the critical disruption is taken as 0.8 times the vc so the equation or the formula that was derived to calculate the power loss was under the fair weather condition however when the foul weather condition is there you have to multiply the critical disruptive voltage with 0.8 the peak formula is valid only if the corona loss is predominant between the frequency of 25 hertz to 120 hertz the ratio of phase voltage to the critical voltage is greater than 0.8 radius of the conductor is greater than 0.25 cm so these factors we have taken into consideration or the assumptions that we can say assumptions we can say to calculate the power loss of the corona by peak by peak the empirical formula so foul weather condition under the foul weather condition you can see that voltage is reducing and it is 0.8 vc so there are certain advantages and disadvantages of corona that we are going to discuss so many advantages and disadvantages are there and in the correct design of high voltage overhead line a balance should be struck between the advantage and disadvantage so corona we can't say that only disadvantage is there certain advantages are also there of corona that we are going to discuss so first we will discuss what are the advantages of corona so when the corona is formed the air surrounding the conductor become conductive and virtual diameter of the conductor is increased the increased diameter reduce the electrostatic stress between the conductor so one advantage is electrostatic stress is reduced now electrostatic stress is reduced because the virtual diameter of the conductor is increased due to the surrounding air conduction it results in magnitude of high voltage stiff fronted waves due to lightning or switching by partially dissipating as a corona loss so whenever there is a lightning or switching then that are dissipated as corona loss in this way it acts as a safety valve or control unit to some extent to the to the some extent the corona is useful because the lightning or switching surges dissipate in the form of corona loss so corona reduce the effect of transient produced by surges so whenever there are some transient in the transmission line due to the lightning condition or the switching condition then that are released with the help of a corona loss so this is the advantages of corona disadvantages are more let us see that Due to charge accumulation on the surface during corona, 
discharge, the diameter of the conductor increase, which increase the effective capacitance and flow of charging current. So the effective capacitance of the conductor will increase and the charging current of the conductor will increase because there is an increase in the diameter. So corona is accompanied by the loss of energy which reduce the transmission efficiency of the line. And there is a production of ozone which can cause the corrosion of the conductor due to the chemical action. The current drawn by the line due to corona is non-sinusoidal, hence non-sinusoidal voltage drop occurs in the line. This may cause inductive interference with the neighboring communication lines. So uh, generally these limitations that we have discussed in the form of loss of energy, in the form of corrosion and in the form of inductive interference due to which the, this corona is harmful. Now we have to reduce the corona but why do we want to reduce? Intense corona effect are observed at a working voltage of 33 kV and above. So all transmission lines which are operating at 33 kV and above are can have the corona effect. So careful design should be made to avoid corona on the substation or bus bar rated for 33 kV and higher voltage. So whenever the voltage exceeds 33 kV, your design has to be careful, designer has to be careful so that it avoid the corona. Otherwise, highly ionized air may cause flashover in the insulators or between the phases, causing considerable damage to the equipment. Due to the corona, there will be ionization of the air and flashover will take place in the insulator or bus bar or between the phases, which can cause damage to the equipment. Among the methods to reduce the corona, the first method that we are going to discuss is by increasing the conductor size. So a conductor which is having a smaller diameter and a conductor which is having a larger diameter, the larger diameter is advantageous as compared to the smaller diameter that we are going to see. So by increasing the conductor size, the voltage at which the corona occurs is raised and hence corona effect is considerably reduced. So when you are going to increase the diameter of the conductor, the voltage, more voltage will be required to produce the corona. This is one of the reason that we generally use aluminum conductor steel reinforced conductors which have a larger cross sectional area in the transmission lines. Second factor that we are going to discuss or the method is increasing the conductor spacing. So less spacing conductors will have more corona, more conductor spacing will have less corona. So that we are going to see. By increasing the spacing between the conductor the voltage at which the corona occur is raised and hence corona effect can be eliminated. So larger the spacing between the conductor, less corona effect can be seen. But spacing between the conductor cannot be increased too much. Otherwise the cost of the supporting structure that is the bigger cross arms and other support may increase to a considerable extent. So there is a limit to which the two conductors can be separated. The third one that we are going to discuss is using bundle conductors. So bundle conductor again will increase the effective diameter of the conductor, hence reducing the corona effect. So we have, we have seen that larger the diameter of the conductor, more voltage is required to produce the corona, more voltage. So bundling of the conductor will increase the effective diameter. The last point that we are going to discuss is using corona ring. So we can see corona ring. This electric field is stronger at sharp conductor curves. So whenever you will have an insulator and there is a conductor which is having a sharp edges, so here there will be more electric field due to which the corona discharge first occur at the sharp points edges and the corner. 
Now corona rings are used at the terminals of very high voltage equipment to reduce the corona effect by rounding out the conductor and making them less sharp. So whenever there is a transmission lines which is having a sharp edges then at the sharp point edges and corner your electric field will be more stronger so corona will take place more. Now use of the corona ring at a high voltage transmission line makes rounding out of the conductor which make them less sharp. So the use of bundle conductors and the corona ring will reduce the effect of the corona. So this completes the discussion on the corona effect. So part 1 and part 2 of the lectures will cover the entire corona discharge chapter. Thank you.